Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So this is going to be a continuation of the Spokane Rocks video series where I show you really cool rocks, geology, and, you know, in this case, fossils that are within an hour of Spokane. But this one's going to be a little different. So typically, the way I do this is uh, I tell you exactly where I'm at and uh, where you should go, you know, GPS and all that. Not this time. This time I'm going to show you two spots that are right inside of Spokane. And uh, you can get cool, cool fossils. Uh, these are, I believe, from the Eocene Epoch. I'm not 100% on that. I Really, people haven't spent a whole lot of time studying these deposits, from what I can tell. Um, so right here is your clue. And what I would like you to do is pay attention to some of the features in this photo. And you can use Google and satellite photos and all of those things, some of which we've talked here on this channel to try to find these fossil deposits. So right now, I'm gonna scurry up this hill back here and I'm gonna send down some material just like this, right? Because here's the thing, uh, during the Eocene, which is like 23 to five million years ago, uh, the Spokane area was a very, very different place. And uh, we have these deposits that were lakes around Spokane that are very similar to the Fossil Bowl and very similar to uh, the Stone, Ro Stone Rose Interpretive Center where you can go and get fossils for a fee. You don't have to pay a fee here. Um, so let's, uh, let's head up there and see what we can find. Uh, scurried up the hill here. So this deposit behind me, is not going to be the only place in Spokane. Neither is the, the other one. You can find this in a number of different locations, all right? So I want you to pay attention to what this material looks like so that you can find it in other places and start looking for fossils. Uh, and um, I want you to be aware <laughs> of overhead dangers and really put your mind... To, to work trying to locate stuff that you see in photos and videos and things like that. So that said, I'm going to take some of these pieces and I'm going to send them down the hill to Sarah and we'll start splitting them open and maybe we'll find some leaves. You can really see here this very, very fine grained sediment that is so unnatural in the Spokane area. You know, we have dirt, we have alluvial deposits from the floods, and we got basalt. This is not something you see normally, and it should stand out to you. Yeah, you can see that leaf imprint on that. That very visible. You just found this one on the ground right here, right? Not really a fossil, but... Yeah, but that's such an interesting pattern. You just split that off. Yeah, there's that side and that side. Good. Yeah, sunlight. Oh, hey. Yeah, you can really see it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think how many millions of years old that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see that impression in it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A little leaf right there in that. The other side, maybe? Yeah, try popping it off. Well, hey. I guess it's a leaf. Maybe. It's got some textures on it, like that kind of being solid. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can really see that. Very cool. Yeah, so we found a couple of fossils, and we're gonna head on to the next location, and we're gonna we're gonna find some more. Well, I'm here at the second location, and this is another one that's right within Spokane city limits. And here is your clue right here. So you should be able to identify this if uh, you look down from above. And uh, the fossil location as well, it's right, right at it. So obviously you can see in here all of this kind of uh, sediment layer. And it's very similar to the stuff we were just at. And this is actually kind of a two for one spot. 
but you can see in there. So there's this one, and then up a little higher, there's another. Let me take you up there. So right below this basalt face, we have more of this kind of uh, this clay layer in here. You can kind of really see it. It's a pretty big area, but well, stuff's break, stuff likes to break off here, so it's certainly uh, not as good as the other ones. But we have something else here that is a little interesting that you should point out. Up in there, we have uh, some basalt columns that are going this way. And you can actually see some of these columns laying down here that have kind of broken out, which is very cool. Uh, you know, columns being uh, pentagon shape, hexagon shape. Kind of getting into the weeds a little bit here, but uh, I wanted to show you this uh, clay layer with this uh, big chunky basalt outcropping overhead. So Sarah's been looking and this is what she's already found here. You can see that little one right there. Which there's the other half of it. Oh, hey. Yeah, I think that's part of it, too. And what, that was like a couple of minutes? A couple of minutes. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. And, oh, that's just a little broken off piece. Oh, hey. Here, you want to pull that? Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's nice. It's different. The other one's in black. Yeah. So, uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it to be interesting. There's a whole playlist linked down below of all of the other Spokane Rocks videos in the, in the series that I'm doing here. Definitely go check those out. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. We're going to be making stuff like this all summer. And uh, I'll have to catch you on the next one, everybody. Thanks for coming by.